Hey Familia Igni here and welcome back to Shadowverse. This video is sponsored by Psy Games. Check out the NGE Shadowverse Open Season 2 happening right now. Link in the video description below. This neutral blood was brought by Care, who won the first NA Open qualifier of said tournament. You've probably seen this a lot on ladder, frankly. No spawn though, but it is a phantom cat deck and uh... Really I want to see what Gruff Mountaineer Captain can do because it ha he's running 3 of in the deck and I've been seeing him on ladder as well more and more, but I actually haven't played him yet. His card art is fabulous though. Um... Well, uh, this hand is pretty good. <laughs> okay then. Uh, we'll just go with this. This is fine. I wonder how good this guy is, actually. Really hoping for a 2 or 3 neutral drop now because of Tove. Um, if we don't get one, it's going to be kind of sad, actually. But there's no way we don't get one, right? There's so many in the deck, right? RNG can't screw me this badly, right? Right? <laughs> if I keep saying it, it'll happen. Um, come on, one drop, two drop, or three drop. Seriously, there's so many in the deck. In fact, the entire deck is basically that. If I draw another Gruff Mountain Captain here, or a freaking five drop, or plus, or four drop, I'm gonna be so mad. I'm gonna be so mad. Alright. Well, I didn't kill it. That's good. Come on. Alright, that's fine. It's pretty good. Big fan. Now I get to Alice into this. And he already spent his Elf Twins Assault for a measly 2 damage. I'm not too scared about that anymore. This is the first time I've seen Forest on ladder in a while. It's kinda nice. Fairy, fairy. Goblin. Alright then. That happened. Lands of wonders. Lands of Let's go face. That's pretty good. I wonder how good this guy is. I actually never played him before, so I'm gonna give this a try. It's a good it's a rush minion. Rush is just good, man. Well the next turn I'll probably just play Baphomet. Baphomet. Get the cat out there. For a sick burn. Only bust the goblin, really. Not a huge deal. My board is already insanely huge. It's gonna be hard for him to clear everything. This one goes here, right? This one here, this one here, this one here. Yeah, that makes sense. This one just trades the Alice for free. That's just insane. I think I'll just play the Gruff Mountain Captain here. It trades Alice for free. Oh my god. No guts, no, no, no glory. Well, that's a lot more effective than I thought it would be. You soon yeah, dang. I guess, I guess because of Alice like buffing everything to a both 5 attack, this guy <laughs> ends up being better than you think. He also has great card art and a winning smile. And that's really what's important, isn't it? Well, this was kind of a blowout. And even if he doesn't, you know, if he, can't, if he clears my board somehow this turn, I can baff him into Phantom Cat for 4 damage. Hopefully. That's the hope, anyway. Uh, but, yeah. I don't know how he's going to recover from this one. That was kind of a not-so start. That was bonkers. Oh, he's got something up his sleeve. Got something. But he can't. He can't even um. Looking glass elven. Um, looking glass. Twin elf. And even if he did, he doesn't have enough cards in hand to kill the gruff mountain boy. This is rough for him, man. Now second gruff mountain here, just for lethal. That's crazy. No guts. No glory. No fear. I actually love his voice lines. I've never heard them before, before this point. And, uh... Here's how a real man does it. <laughs> his voice lines are so good! Alright, now I know why he's being run. Great aesthetics. Against another blood, and we're going second, so that's kind of scary, isn't it? It's a little scary, isn't it? Toss that one back. Don't need it. We got Sector, the people are rejoicing as we speak. Here we go. 
There's four one drops in the deck. Hopefully we draw one. I'm gonna draw two cards here. He's not playing neutral. He's playing like a more standard aggro blood. All right, I can dig it. That sucks. <laughs> Didn't get anything for turn one. He's gonna play a wolf. Our right, Yorias. Oh, that's really painful for me actually. Damn. That is quite painful for me. How do I deal with a Urius? Oh man. I almost forgot that card existed. And how much trouble it causes me. Just in life. Oh jeez, trading off. Alright. All then. Hopefully he can't deal with this too easily. He already spent a Razory Claw. Don't do it again. Night Horde. Oh man, that sucks. Well, I kind of have to tank two damage here, don't I? If I want to play Goblin Ferio. Ah, man, that's rough. But I really want to get more than one minion on the board. Alternatively, I could just play Alice, Hector next turn. That's probably better, actually. I want to guarantee that I can get this Hector off. Give me a ward, removal, and a trade with an evolve point. Alternatively, I could play Gruff Mountain next turn. But Hector can remove two things, so that's probably better. Does he have spawn? He has spawn then. This is already kind of sad for me. If he's trading this way, I can actually play uh, Goblin Neferia Baphomet instead. And I'm wary of spawn, frankly. Alright, this is okay. I'm really wary about that Baphomet that he just played, though. Hopefully it doesn't blow me out. Might very well just be spawn, and then I'm in a really bad position. Oh, it's Karabos. Well, it's not. This is full price Karabos. Oof. I kind of just have to go fast then, right? I have to trade this though. No guts, no, no fear. Yeah, boy. Immune. That's what I'm talking about. Let us come. Have to be careful. Does he care about vengeance? He might. Not sure though. But we have to go fast. We can't just stand back. Cause he's, he's gonna deal one damage to us every turn. So if he plays like implants right here. Spawn doesn't do it anymore, so I'm not afraid about that. Implanter doesn't do it. Phantom Cat does four. Plus one is five. But he could hmm. I was thinking he could have like a like a three cost Phantom Cat. I wonder if this one for some way he can get lethal here. Not quite. And then he got a three he got a three cost the Carabos. That's scary. But I think it's it's not enough, man. It's just not enough. He couldn't get there in the end. I admire you for playing a different deck though from the meta. Man, this this Gruff Mountain guy is just too good. Gruff Mountain is doing so much work, man. Alright, here we go. Again, Shadow. The Shadow's quite good right now, I think. At the moment. Shadow's pretty good. I don't think I need Grimnir. I wanna really go. Mulligan for better stuff. Something more aggressive since we're going first. So I'm glad we got a two drop there. Alright. Can't complain with a three drop into Alice. Especially when the three drop is Goblin Leader. Can't complain. No one drop on his side also is good. Just start drawing our cats. Just a little bit. And this is why I didn't play Grim. Uh, didn't keep Grimnir because this is just 
Lurching Corpse is like, well, <laughs> it's bad against Lurching Corpse, is what I'm trying to say. If I could stop being so flustered for a second. Ah. Wouldn't be surprised if he. Yeah, had removal. Shadow runs undying resentment nowadays, so. That makes sense. We'll just do the thing and go for the face. Because Alice is pretty good. Pretty good. Can't complain. But she needs to have the knuckle. That knuckle. This guy's insane, man. I'm pretty sure he's gonna get nerfed. Pretty sure. That sucks. It's actually okay, though. Because I can just knuckle this guy. Baby. Board is back. Didn't even really disappear. It's almost as if it was there the entire time. No matter how... It, no matter, what's the problem with blood, right? You can clear it all you want, but you're just gonna have more stuff. I guess that's also the problem with Shadow. I guess a lot of classes are like that, now that I think about it. You can clear it all you want, but I'm always just gonna have more stuff. Like this. This is stuff I can play. But I think I'm just gonna play cat. Take this. It's all right, I guess. Stop right there. I'm actually totally okay with evolving aggressively. What the heck is going? Stop right there. When he's so low, and I can draw another cat with my Baphomet. I'm perfectly okay with this. All right. Uh, that one didn't count. You're breathing too loud. Lots of necro assassins. That's fine though. I got the sick toe. Check it. Hmm. Let me think. Alternatively, I could just like bathmet my cat later. For later, rather. Yeah. Pretty happy with that. Gonna clear the board because of Ector. Don't wanna take that much face damage. But Ector is gonna summon like three zombies here. That's pretty good. It's pretty good, man. No Ector though! Alright. I can dig it. I can dig it. I'm a fan of what just happened. Oh, another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. I'm gonna just hit face with the angel. Because I think that's better. Yeah. Because, uh, if I end up guy just draws one, then I win. Trade this in. I don't mind trading that in. It's fine. Doesn't really do much. Reduces the power of, by one, and actually increases the power of his Ector. But it doesn't matter. He's dead. That's the power of blood going first, as you all know, I'm sure. And that's this blood deck. It's really effective. Uh, I don't even think spawn is necessary anymore. I've just been seeing people run Phantom Cat only, and um, this guy, surprisingly good. Like back in the, during the card evaluation stage, I didn't think he'd be like super special, but. I had my reservations because it was a neutral rush, and rush is just good, so... And it turns out, yeah! It's pretty good. That's it for this video. Like it if you did, don't if you didn't. Subscribe for more Shadowverse content in the very near future. And of course, thank you to my wonderful patrons. Patreon.com slash if you want to help out. I would really appreciate it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye